What's up? So this is my first video. I've never done anything like this and just experimenting with seeing how this goes. So a little background, high school golfer. Just started this YouTube thing. I've been in it for so long. I've done it ever since I was 12, like little slime DUIs, everything like that. And uh, picked up golf a little bit ago. Got good enough to around a two handicap. And uh, yeah, so this is my first video. I'm just gonna be doing a trying to break 80. I mean, well, trying to break 75, let's just say that. Just to make it more interesting. Uh, so, I'm playing a plantation, starting on the back nine. This is hole 10. And uh, it is a par five with about a layup of a, I'd say just about a casual three wood. And it's probably only about 210. You want to land it around 220 through 30. And I'm going to swing light on this so I can actually get the shot I want to. So, here we go. That's the perfect line you want to be taking. Hopefully, the shot tracer can pick that up. Oh, what's up, guys? It's the same shot. Um, again, I really don't know what I'm doing. I'm just out here experimenting with this. I'd love to. Uh, Use all of the software I have for editing. Get Adobe, get some shot tracers, get some scoreboard. And hopefully if this works out and I like it enough and you guys show some pretty good support, I can get some pretty cool people on here. I know I would love to get started on this channel, make it really nice, put some good content out there, emulate and try to be almost like good good. As I've watched them ever since they started and it really inspired me to uh, really start YouTube. Really tell. I'm a little farther. The wind definitely did affect that a lot more than I thought it would. So, yeah. All right. So what's up? I got a about a somewhere between 25 and 30 yard chip. This is for eagle. So hopefully I can stick this close. Hey. So not too good start of a hole. Couldn't really annotate or whatever you call it. Um, just speak over that last one. The guy was actually changing the cup as we speak. Um, so that's why the flag wasn't in on the first putt. But um, I ended up parring the uh, hole with a two putt, as you saw. Wasn't too bad. Just uh, really messed up my chip. Gave me a really long putt on a very long. Um, with a lot of break. It was a big hill with a big break and uh, wasn't too um, good. The greens aren't playing that well. They're not rolling nice. So it was iffy. Definitely lost a birdie there. Um, Could have definitely made birdie if I had a good chip. My chip actually checked up. All right, so this is hole 11, plantation, golf course. It's another layup shot. Um, it's par four, probably. Par four is around 384. If you can't go for the green, you can play it up on that left side over there. But, uh, very risky. You have water on the right side. You have water in the front, of course. Your best course of action, just take a 3-1. Probably get it around 240, 245 up the middle. Have a nice, easy chip into the green. About as perfect as you can get. Definitely pure the crap out of that ball, so we'll see where it lands up there. All right, as you can tell, I definitely left no room for error on the 3-1. Uh, Definitely pure that, went a little farther than I wanted it to, just because you're not too safe up here, being just kind of sloping off. If you miss it, you're not in a good position, but um, right now I have about 70 yards to the hole, I'm taking a, uh, about 60 yards to the hole. I'm taking a uh, 60 degree. I'm gonna try to play it higher since these are not spinning a lot. They're not really catching the ball as I wanted to, and I can't play my low shot. So hopefully I get this close. not bad definitely uh power hands my freaking shot again so wasn't bad uh, a little far but we'll uh we'll see how the puck goes honestly not too shabby i mean not too bad at all um ended up hitting it probably about 20 feet um that's actually too much probably about 15 feet away from the hole it's not bad at all um it's gonna be an easy putt hopefully from what i can tell there's not too much break but um 
as you guys can see, not bad at all. Nice little birdie putt. This is a very good opportunity for me to finally make a birdie. Wow. Didn't break at all. Had zero break to that. Stayed along this line completely, which is pretty annoying. But uh, yeah, didn't break, which sucks, but it's another par. We're gonna have plenty more chances today with about seven more holes after this, so we're fine. We'll see if we can uh, stay even or even maybe crack even and go under par. All right, so as you can tell, we have a rolling ass little dog that is uh, currently barking. thing you want to do is just aim for that 150, play a nice little draw down the middle, and you'll have an easy approach shot into the group. It's not bad. Just a little right. Have a longer approach shot into the green. But should have worked. Alright, so hopefully these come out well. I'm no YouTuber by any means. I'm just somebody who likes golf a lot and I play almost every single day so there's really no point not to record. And I'd love to actually start making content, get better at this. So if you guys do like this, please leave a like or even like subscribe because this is definitely my passion. I love doing it. I would love to be able to go play really nice. Oh my god. Cooked my gut. Really nice courses and uh, give you guys some really good content. As I said before, there's some pretty cool people. I got a few people that would love to uh, play with me and love to record. So, who knows? Hopefully, get big enough, yeah, try to play good, good, something like that. I don't know. It would be fun. All right, so I got about 127 to the hole. 127 yards. See the gap wedge. Bad shot of today. Well, chunk that definitely really hard. Alright, so got a nice little chip right here. Gotta land this high and soft. Gotta land it before the pin so I'm not backwards, so I'm not putting downhill. Um, this is very unfortunate. Always pain when I do that, but it's definitely my miss is a small chunk. So I'm trying to either go too slight or too heavy. I was looking for. That's why I'm no scratch golfer by no means. All right, so I don't have that crazy of a putt. Um, definitely breaks right to left. Um, this one's probably about 20 feet. I definitely want to make this for par. That would be an insane save. Right. Um, so I gave it a run. I mean, not too good. Just give it a little straightforward bogey putt. If not, that will. Almost missed that. Not good at all. Almost slipped out on the right side. So, we got a part three coming up. Hopefully, that saves the score. All right, so I got about 118 fifth hole. Almost same distance as last shot. Same club this time. Wind's changing up a little bit. Grab your tee box for sure. It's like a half sand, half grass. About three fourths sand, half grass. So, this is the hole I need to uh, come back. Currently, one over par. Not Not bad, just a little uh, right of the uh, hole. Probably another 15, 16 foot putt straight into a break. All right, so I got about 15 feet to the hole, just for birdie. Hopefully I can make this putt. I definitely need it, but I will settle for a par after my bogey. But this will definitely lighten up the mood. Definitely 
definitely not too good green. Definitely does suck. Oh. All right, here's another weird hole. This is a very long par four, so this is definitely my least birdied hole on this course. I play this course all the time. This is hole 14. Um, it's about, I'd say about 460 to the uh, green from here. We are playing a little bit off on the tee box. More room for an easier iron into the uh, tee or into the green. So I saw that in. <laughs> I said my fade isn't too nice, and I ended up fading it right into the uh, tree trouble. You know, honestly, not that bad where it ended up. I got about 190 to the flag. Flying just to those trees right there on the uh, little side right there. Not bad at all. Definitely in a good, not a good spot. Really, really bad lie. Um, I have two trees to get over. I don't know if I can clear that second tree, which you may not be able to see. I just need to probably play a like a nice little draw over the first one right there, and then uh, let it draw in, have a little bit of draw spin, kick to the hole. Hopefully, I can do that. Hopefully, it will work out. Worked out perfectly. Okay. Wow. So it is back pin. Uh, just a little bit of a blade. Uh, did not compress it as well as the fly. Didn't go as far. Probably carried 180, 179. Wasn't bad. I have about another 20 foot putt for birdie, so see how this goes. Good save though. If you guys have any suggestions where I should play, what kind of challenges I should do, I'm definitely gonna try to do scrambles. I may, I don't know if I don't really call it stealing, but I may take the ideas, some ideas from good good of like lightning scrambles, punch outs, other stuff like that. Um, just to make it more interesting, because I know I, I find it hard to watch just one person out golfing in their own mind if they get mad or something like that. I mean it's just it's not amazing to watch, but it does get boring. I would love to uh, actually do something fun, make it interesting for you guys to subscribe, like, and actually want to support the channel. You know, honestly, not bad. Uh, I was completely in a tree. I had to clear a lot of trees. Um, I got a pretty straight far cut. Not too much break in it. Definitely got to give it some to, uh, to get it there. Uh, I don't think I gave it enough. Wow. Definitely most unfortunate to have a putt like that and leave it this short. But if you guys can see, these are like carpets. They haven't been cut in like two weeks. It is not easy to go from courses like DAC, uh, Brookhaven, all these courses I usually play to uh, playing very, very slow greens. Three uh, putts are the hell of golf. I'm considering not playing golf no more if I'm three putting birdie putts. Very easy par four. This is a uh, copy hole off of the front nine. Same exact kind of par four. Very, very, very easily birdied hole. I say that on almost every hole in this course, but this is definitely a birdie hole if I can hit my wedges or very uh, straightforward hole. Taking a six iron at it. Just trying to go right towards the edge, have a very easy six degree into the hole and hopefully make birdie, because I'm now two over, which does suck. Not too good, I'm on the uh, sixth hole of the back nine. So, definitely want to birdie this hole, just to even get back to one over, that's all I want. You know, that actually could have saved me. It's a little chunky, but right down the middle, so. This shot about 83 yards into the green. Very straightforward. Oh, wow. Alright. Oh. Alright, so as you guys can tell, um, cleared the green by a good amount. Got about a 20 no, chip. Chipped it again. <laughs> I feel 
like everything's just a bad shot. Definitely not a good roll for uh, my game. Very straightforward putt. Just gonna aim the right side of the thing, come up and power it. Right middle cover. Save for par, which is good, but not too fun. You have to save for par with the dang chip across the green. Alright, so this is a par five. Very gettable. Definitely can make it in two. You get your drive far enough up there. Grass is very dormant. It's all forever right now. Um, if I can get a nice little drive on the right side, cover those trees and not have tree trouble on the left side, get it to the green. So, nice plan of action. Just aim a little right. It's a perfect shot. Maybe pulled a little bit. But as I said, it's going to roll off forever, so I'll be fine in the uh, long run. Um, Could have an easy shot to the green, hopefully. Got about 225 to the hole. Nice, easy five wood. Don't need to swing too hard at it. There is a, uh, it's an elevated green, so I got, I'll get pretty lucky if I land it short. Um, this should take out some of the, uh, the rollout. Uh, definitely don't want to land it on the green with this club, because that will fall off the back and go into a house. So hopefully I can strike this well, have a very good look over on the eagle. I hope it's a very gettable hole. So let's see if I can do it. Not bad. Left side. Just short of the green. Um, probably right on the fringe. Not bad at all. I'll take that. All right. About a little easy uh, chip to the green right here. Definitely don't want to hit this too far. These greens are rolling fast, especially when it's been a sun all day. So I really want to knock this down, get it close, and get a big hit, and that'd be awesome. Let's see what I can do. It's actually a very good chip. Probably the best chip today. So Let's see if we can make it for birdie. Brings us to one over, save the score a little bit. Got two holes left, so hopefully those play well, so we'll see how it goes. All right, we got 139 to the pin from here. Nice, comfortable pitching wedge. Um, nice track. Wow, that's perfect. It's right on the hole. I couldn't be any closer. Walked the hole, seen the hole now, not as close as I thought, I thought it was right next to the flag, but I got about, I don't know, I would say four feet, three feet to the hole, um, definitely a really good shot, definitely needed that, this could save the score, um, definitely excited about this, because right here, because I don't even know how to turn this around, but just to show, got it pretty dang close, um, now I have to make this for birdie. That would be a uh, really nice birdie to save the score. Go back to even par. So, Let's see if we can do it. So I'm just gonna aim a little bit on the left side of the cup. Have a nice little drop in. Even standing over that, you can kind of feel once you putter enough, like the feeling when you're aiming wrong. Let's go. All right, that's another birdie. Two birdies in a row. That's amazing. Um, Back to even par. If we bury this next hole, that would be ridiculous. Um, that bring me to one under, and then that would bring me to uh, yeah, that bring me one under for the day. So currently even par through technically 17 holes, but you guys didn't see the first holes. I can link up some videos. I actually almost chipped in from 62, so I'll link that. All right, so here's the treacherous par four. This thing right now, I hate this hole so much. I've had so many times where I've been even par, under par, something like that, and it just, it kills me, man. It, uh, it is not a fun hole to play. So, let's see if I can do this or not. Hopefully the shot turns this way.
good place to be. Um, that sucks. Uh, I'm gonna be right side. That makes this hole about 200 yards, 210 yard approach shot on a far four. Definitely not as bad as I thought. I was gonna be farther over there, which is on the fence, which won't be as good. But honestly, right now, I'm debating whether I should go on the right side or left side because my little punch fade is not perform as well as I want it to. So I don't want to put myself in a worse spot. So I don't know whether if I should uh, lay up or uh, go for it. We'll have to see. I may just end up trying to fade it around this tree, really keep it low. But uh, I need this to be good, and I can't send it too far, right? Oh, that's perfect. Oh, yeah. Yeah, that's perfect. It's right over the tree. I don't even know where that went through the tree. I'm curious to see that shot, shot tracer. That is uh, not what I meant to do, but it it works. It's just 90% air trees. All right, so somehow this uh, chip made it right here. I have no idea how it did. I punched it through the trees and it somehow made it through right through the trees, which is nice. So I have about a really easy chip. I'm just gonna land on the front, let it roll, and hopefully save for far. wasn't too good. Ended up a little short. Just have a little bit of a longer putt for par. Alright, so I got a pretty long half to par putt here. This would be nice. It does suck to do that. But I did mess myself up in the tee shot. As I said, if you miss this tee shot right, you're going to have a lot of tree trouble, which does suck. So, hopefully I can uh, tap one in and get it good. It would be a nice putt to actually have a long putt and actually make it for par. Alright, so that does suck, unfortunate, ending it off on a bogey, but um, it's what it is. I had a really up and down round. Could have had a, definitely a better chip shot, but I left it really short, had a really long putt into it. But um, thank you guys for watching. This is the first video. Just going to do a little nine hole events and uh, hopefully do them well, but it does suck to end with a bogey. Um, finished one over on nine holes and one over on 18, 73. Not bad. Poke the goal to 75 by two strokes, so hopefully next time we do better.